All right, so step one of the uh, solar conversion. I've got to get these, well, I had to buy them in, these pretty special screws. The pitch on these, well, they're not that special. The pitch on these is one millimeter. So uh, I couldn't find them anywhere out here, so I had to get them shipped in and I had to wait for them. So I'll try, I'll maybe show you one of my diagrams a bit later on about what I'm planning to do with the solar for mounting it to the bike. But on this frame, it's a surly troll, it has a, a threaded hole here for mounting a trailer. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to try and make the most of that. I've drilled uh, a hole in the end of this, I think this one is 20 mil box um, steel, this one. And this is a perfect lens just to poke out. I mean, it's not a lot of thread there on the other side, but I'm going to give it a go, see how it is. I'm going to try and thread that in to here. And by doing that, I'm going to end up with a bracket that comes up like this, and it holds the solar panels up on the top of the bike. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to try and whiz through it and see, uh, give it a couple of attempts and see what, see what happens. So I'll uh, maybe set up a time lapse or something like that. Uh, wish me luck. All right, so this is my rear solar panel array. Um, so I had these panels custom manufactured from, uh, that have been shipped in from China. Uh, each one of them is a 24 cell panel, which is something pretty unusual really. Uh, the reason for that is because the race that I'm doing, the Sun Trip, that you've probably heard me talk about a lot, uh, there's a width limit and I needed to stay within that width, that width limit. I think it's 99 centimeters. Um, or something close to that. A uh, good thing about getting them manufactured though, it means I could put the junction boxes on the back, so the front is actually quite neat. And uh, I'll flip this around and I'll show you the uh, frame that I've built for it. Okay, so this is the... Well, it's not finished yet, but this is the start of the framing on the back. It's aluminium section. Um, the problem is, I realised by putting the junction box on the back, it means that I can't use these eyelets in the corner because the junction box is in the way of the bar. So I've had to make this uh, little cut out little section to fit it around. It's just bolted together for now and a couple of zip ties whether or not are bolts. Um, and I haven't got the back section on, this bit's missing because I haven't done that yet. But other than that, I mean it's fairly stable, it's pretty sturdy. Um, these are probably, well they are uh, larger than they need to be. Um, when I get, I'm going to go back to the UK before um, I start this race, so I've got time to get more materials where it's easier to get them. Whereas up in the mountains here, it's a bit of a hassle trying to get <laughs> raw materials to do things. So we'll try and uh, look about how this is going to go on the bike. <laughs> it looks insane. <laughs> doable though. It's definitely doable. Alright, so I've got these two main beams kind of mounted. The bolts through here and into the frame. And immediately uh, something I've noticed is uh, I'm going to need some spaces or something on the inside just because you might be able to see you might not well, you might not. This actually sticks out a little bit from the, the plate that this is screwed into. And I need these to be going over the top of it. They're coming up like this. So I'll need some washers or something, but that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, I've got them both coming out the back of the bike. Lift them up a bit. So this is sort of the main boom. That seems to work pretty well so far. Alright, so this is how the top part's going to mount. Um, I've got this, I can't remember they call it, salsa that make it, it's a seat post, it's for, made for bikes that don't have rack mounts, so you can mount a rack to it instead of on these brazons. And this is what's going to hold the top up behind the saddle. It's kind of a sneak peek of how the bike's going to look. Insane. <laughs> it's probably about as far as I'm going to get today. Running out of light.